light travelers today we're taking a look at outliers new way shorts this is the 2015 edition I'm gonna be doing this review based off my experience with last year's model the 2014 edition new way shorts the main difference between the two shorts is the refined fit and the ends of the drawstring are now tied up with barrel knots instead of having little colored metal ends in addition to these changes there is a selection of new colors to choose from too the shorts are made from outliers F cloth which is a blend of 97% nylon and 3% elastane. This gives the shorts a nice two-way stretch and improves overall comfort. The material doesn't feel like what you would imagine nylon shorts uh, would normally feel like. It feels more like a cotton or any other regular material. It's not shiny and it's not loud like nylon garments usually are. I really like the fit and cut of these updated 2015 new ways. Last year's model had a slight flaring on the hem and the pockets would flare out a bit as well. The new fit on the 2015 model however is excellent. It's not too slim and not flared or too loose. I haven't noticed any pocket flare yet either. The 2015 shorts also have a slightly wider waist measurement so that they can be worn lower on the waist compared to last year's version. The 2014 model's drawstring had little painted metal tips on the end I initially thought these were really great until I first put them in the washing machine where they made a very loud sound banging around. The colour also got chipped off. Thankfully, the 2015 edition has revised this with barrel tied ends on the drawstring. One of the main reasons people love Outliers shorts is the water readiness of them. They're designed in a way that allows you to swim in them without feeling uncomfortable and due to the nature of the nylon they dry very quickly. The pockets also have mesh on the inside so that they don't balloon up and the water drains out of them when you get out of the water. Basically you can go to the beach or the pool looking sharp, dive in, swim around for a bit and then let the shorts dry off as you're walking back. It only takes about 30 minutes or so to dry them if you're wearing them. I actually tended to notice that they took a little bit long to dry when you're not wearing them. I think this is because body heat helps them to dry quicker. These shorts are an excellent addition to any light travelers covered. They are versatile enough to replace your swim shorts and regular shorts and are even comfortable enough to replace your sleep shorts. I have used them in all of these scenarios while traveling and they definitely hold up very well. The only bad thing I can think of is that they tend to attract a lot of hair and fur, particularly dog fur and cat fur. You need to use a damp towel or a sticky roller to get rid of the fur because it's very attracted to the material. The other bad thing is that they take a little longer to dry when not worn. I have found that wringing them out after washing does help to some extent though. Overall my experience with these shorts has been a very positive one and I've enjoyed swimming in them and also traveling around them and found them to be a very versatile and very light quick drying short. Thanks very much for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for the latest video.